Um, so my, whoa. Ah, did you guys catch that? <laughs> that was sick. He, he was riding on his ass <laughs> and he got pounded. So my parents both surf and my mom uh, was pregnant up until like six months with me still surfing. So I think I was surfing before I was born. So I for sure was gonna be my destiny. Ever since I was a little girl, I wanted to be a pro surfer and I didn't want anything to take that dream away from me. I felt like if I, if I came out as a gay person, it was gonna like negatively affect and impact my surfing career and kind of steal my dreams. I think he might be Hispanic. He loves tortilla chips. These are crackers, but. Oh, you dropped your chip. Is that what we're upset about? Mm -hmm. it's a chip. I'm about to go down to Alohilani. I've got my Friday night DJ residency right there on the pool deck at Swell Bar. It's really awesome. They have um, cabanas and like a really killer infinity pool that looks out at um, Queens and they've got fire pits and it's just good vibes all around. Started from a young age just going to going and hearing music and you know you'd have a really fun night or you'd have a kind of so-so night and it usually depended on how good the music was so then I was just like okay well I need to be in control of this because I'm a control freak and I have to be in control of how my night's going to go. It's funny because sometimes I'll be DJing and people will recognize me as a surfer and then that's, they can't, they, it, it kind of throws them for a second like, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I got told so many times over the course of my life and my career that, you know, females can't surf, can't ride big waves, women can't surf pipeline. We can't, you know. So I, I went out and did all these things that people said I couldn't do. If I would have just listened to what people were telling me initially, I wouldn't have accomplished even half of the things I had in my career if I'd have listened to other people's opinions. So. When I first started surfing Pipeline, I'd be like the only woman out there most times. Guys would just burn you just because you're a, a, a female and they just don't think you're gonna actually take off. I've learned to be like way more aggressive and like, I can go out now and have a bad surf and not feel like they're gonna look at me like, oh, well that's just because you're a girl and you shouldn't be out there, you know what I mean? Lesbian was like a very like derogatory Term for female athletes because it, it kind of diminished their accomplishment. It took away from their talent somehow. It's weird because it, it shouldn't, but it it became that kind of derogatory term where it like discounted their ability if they were you know more masculine or if they were lesbian. So when I finally was able to like come out and be myself, that was like one of the most freeing feelings I've ever felt in my life. So that's what I would say to any youth or athletes that are in the position I used to be in that are struggling with it. Like, yeah, it's not easy, it's gonna be hard, you know, it's scary, but oh my God, it feels so good to just be yourself. Yeah. <laughs>